Hey there fellow cooks and chefs, welcome back to The Golden Cookbook. In this video, we'll be discussing some of the most basic cooking gadgets that every chef that ha should have in their own kitchen in order to properly cook, in order to properly do the things that they need to do in a kitchen, such as making their favorite recipes, their favorite dishes, and in general, just making sure that you're prepared and ready to handle whatever dish you want to make. Without further ado, let's get into it. We saw this one coming, but the chef knife is the most important tool that a cook can have in their kitchen. The chef knife is like, I mean, it has it in its name. It's a tool for chefs. You use this to cut any any vegetable, any, any ingredient that you need to prep it and properly use it to, to its need. Now, there are multiple different types of knives. However, a chef knife is tends to be the most all around useful just because of its sturdy shape. It always has a sharp edge and the size can vary, but it, al it always has its necessary uses. So always have a good sharpened chef knife in, in your kitchen in, in order to use for pretty much most of, your, most of your recipes, if not all of them. Now these two go hand in hand, but you can't have a good knife without having a good cutting board. A cutting board is basically, well, I'm not gonna explain what a cutting board is. <laughs> you use a cutting board to cut food on so you don't get your countertop all messed up. So you basically, I, I would always prefer to have a thin cutting board when you're at home. You always wanna keep a thin one so you can move it around. You can take it to the pot and put it in if you're in a rush, if you really need to. But also, if you're gonna use a thin cutting board, you're gonna to wanna to keep like a warm towel underneath so that you're able to prevent it from slipping and sliding and moving around because that's extremely dangerous and a lot of people don't realize that. So the, the tip that a lot of chefs do is that they keep some sort of like damp towel under the cutting board, a thin damp towel in order to stabilize it and prevent it from moving, moving it around. So you have a more safe workplace and it'll be much easier to use. The next tool I would recommend is having an instant red thermometer. A th an instant red thermometer is something you can insert in oils, foods, and other stuff in order to check the temperature of it directly. Now, these are extremely helpful because, especially concerning meats, because by the FDA standard, meats have a an, uh, internal cooking temperature. The internal cooking temperature pretty much just means that the temperature where the um, product is safe to consume, meaning that the heat kills all the bacteria on the inside and outside. So having one of these to ensure that your meat is always up to that temperature at least is extremely helpful. Of course, there are some nuances in terms of the internal cooking temperature, but we'll get into that, get into that at later. So the fire is ready to heat because if your fire is not, then you're gonna end up with really messy and unstable results. So instant red thermometer, just keeping it in your chef coat in the pocket is extremely important and I would highly, highly advise doing it. Or in your pocket, of course, if you don't have a chef coat. And next, we'll move on to some of the more basic tools that everyone, every chef needs to have. So we'll just go through this really quickly. You have the rubber spatula or a wooden spoon. You're gonna wanna use these to stir stuff inside pots. I would advise having both a rubber spatula and wooden spoon because you see the curve on a rubber spatula. This is meant to scrape out the corners of a pot in order to make sure you get everything. And this helps to prevent burning and other stuff when turning the cooking. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have one with this shape on it. Preferably a more sturdy one like this because you want to have it you want to go deep inside the pot without a ring like snapping or breaking on you so i always prefer having one with like a metal base like this you'll probably see one with the rubber base and rubber top and that's also pretty good but it's just my personal preference and also extremely important is a pair of tongs tongs is what you're going to use to pick up and move around different items inside a pot and this is extremely important because how are you going to do it without burning yourself right so you want to keep these always on standby just making sure that you always have these like in the hook of your oven in the handlebar it just makes it really quick to take something out and go and just use it very easily and also it's easy to carry around with the hook with the lever so you just push it in it's out push push it out it's in so it's really useful just make sure you have this on hand always and last but definitely not least 
we have the bowls and mini bowls. These are used, well, you have the mixing bowls, of course, to mix stuff, shocker, I know. But um, we have the mini bowls, which are gonna be used to hold items for your miso plots and stuff that you're gonna be using. And by miso plots, of course, I mean stuff that you cut up, ingredients that you're, that you're ready to use whenever. So just put these in the bowls, and these could be a varying sizes, big and small. So just put these in the bowl when you're ready to use them and you'll easily just put them in the pot without worrying about bringing the cutting board or looking for something at the last second and you know, struggling to do that. And you, you can also keep like salt and pepper in this to make it easier to season, to season stuff as you go, which is what a lot of people do in kitchens. So just always have at least two of these. I would highly advise more, but you know, Amazon, right? Just buy a bunch of these and have at it. Here are the those are the list of the most important culinary gadgets that you can have in the kitchen to both make your traditional cooking easier and elevate your future ones. So again, thank you for watching. I would highly advise you to check out our other videos if you want to see how we use these cooking tools in action and how you can get the best use out of them. So make sure you click on any one of our other videos in order to properly understand these basics. And that's it. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.